An interstellar meteor? No way. Not this time. Avi Loeb claims to have recovered fragments from a meteor that crashed to Earth from outside the solar system. However, their composition doesn't back him up. Loeb claims that some of the fragments are enriched in elements such as uranium, lanthanum and beryllium, and depleted in other elements such as rhenium. This sets them apart from the most common solar system-based meteorites. However, fragments with similar composition have previously been discovered in the Indian Ocean. This strange composition is very likely the result of a solar system-based rock interacting with sediments and seawater containing these elements over thousands of years. Loeb also claims that his fragments show strange iron isotope ratios that set them apart from solar system-based rocks. However, all of his fragments sit along the straight mass fractionation line of our solar system. When a solar system-based meteor blazes through our atmosphere, different isotopes of an element, which have different masses, boil off at different rates. This moves the rock along the mass fractionation line. However, if Loeb samples originated outside of the solar system, we wouldn't expect them to sit on the solar system line. We'd expect them to have very different isotopic ratios that couldn't be derived from solar system based rocks by simple mass dependent processes. They originated somewhere else with very different composition. So Loeb's fragments are probably from space, but they're almost certainly from our solar system. This one was invented by a writer. It's an urban legend that never happened. For more, be scientific and bad and find me over on YouTube.